This is how your videos are actually analyzed to determine where they're going to rank within YouTube. YouTube analyzes your thumbnail and every single frame of your video to understand what your video is about and how relevant that video is to a user's search. If you want to know what you actually need to be doing in order to get views on your videos, then keep watching because it's not about tags or titles anymore. It's about this. What is this? That's coming right up. Hey Boss Squad, I'm Nessa. This is the Project Girl Boss channel where you learn strategies to grow on YouTube and get monetized. So it turns out YouTube SEO has changed yet again. It used to be tags were important, now they are the least important thing. So don't even worry if your tags aren't rankings because they have very little to do with whether you're actually going to get views or not. Then it was all about the keywords and making sure you had your keyword in the title, in the description, in the tags, in the hashtags, speaking it within the video. This is old YouTube. YouTube SEO and if you just focus on this your results are going to be very hit and miss. What you need to understand if you want to get more views and subscribers on your channel is that the YouTube algorithm is adaptive. It works off of artificial intelligence so in a sense it learns and it changes as it learns so all the old strategies will never be set in stone. If long tail low competition keywords placed in your title, descriptions, tags, hashtags, closed captions are the things that are going to help you rank higher. Why is it that this happens? I ran a search for get more views on YouTube under my YouTube profile. And then I ran the exact same search, get more views on YouTube in incognito mode. I'm going to put these side by side so that you can see exactly what I am talking about. So to the left, we have the incognito mode results and to the right, we have my specific profile. We are going to ignore this top one because this is an ad. So they are paying for that placement. And we're also going to ignore the ones here that say ad as well. Notice how the top three spots are not even in the same order in incognito and for my profile. So in my profile, the number one spot is a Brian G. Johnson video and that one appears in position number two under incognito and then in incognito we have Brian Dean with the number one spot on his video appears in position number two for my profile and then the video in position number three is completely different in incognito than the one in my profile and the thing that I want you guys to note here is the keyword that I searched for was get more views on YouTube if everything that we have been taught is that the keyword needs to be in the title and in the description in order to aid your ranking this video doesn't even have it in the title it's a video titled, I paid Fiverr to monetize a YouTube channel. And that's what it says in their description as well. I paid Fiverr to monetize a YouTube channel. If we keep going down the line in incognito mode to positions four, five, and six, you can see these videos are completely different as well. Under my profile, we have this channel called Gallagher, and yet in incognito mode, it is a think media video from a week ago, which has 42,000 views. And this this the video on, in my profile ranked in position number four is from three months ago, and it has 2,900 views. So one would assume that a video that was published a week ago and has accumulated a lot more views and also has the keyword in the title, how to get more views on YouTube, would be more relevant than this video because it is slightly older. Again, this does not have that keyword in the title. This is how to rank YouTube videos in 2021 and it is outranking the Make Money Map video that is actually titled How to Get More Views on YouTube, which is the keyword that I searched for. And yet this video is ranked as number three in incognito. So what I want you to realize is that there are videos in here that are ranking pretty high that don't even have that keyword 
in the title. Like why is this video here? YouTube settings you should know about. Learn settings inside of YouTube that can help. Well, YouTube themselves have told us how this search discovery algorithm works. The goal of YouTube search and discovery system is to help viewers find the videos they want to watch. In this case, I wanted to watch videos on how to get more views, but YouTube also wants to maximize long-term viewer engagement and satisfaction. Meaning that at the same time, they are trying to keep me on the platform watching more and more videos and they do this by analyzing videos that I typically watch what I don't watch how much time I spend watching a video whether I have liked or disliked or if I have clicked the not interested feedback my results are gonna be slightly different than your results if you search for get more views on YouTube because you probably have different watch patterns and behaviors than I do they go so far as to say Videos are ranked based on a variety of factors. Remember that first screen I showed you? That's coming up next, including how well the title, description, and video content. Notice there's nothing about tags. Match the viewer's query. I particularly like this myth. Myth, my videos have fully optimized titles and descriptions. Why don't they rank higher? Truth, search considers many signals, including the watch time of a particular video for a particular query. So what are these other factors and signals that you need to take into account if you want your videos to rank so that they can get views? When you upload a video to YouTube, YouTube immediately starts analyzing it. It analyzes what you say in the video and it analyzes every single frame of the video to determine what the video is actually about, who's in it, what the mood and emotions are, where you are, what objects are in the video. And then it takes all of that plus the metadata to determine how relevant the video is to what was searched. It does this with something called cloud vision. So to kind of understand how it works, let's actually test it. So in here, we're analyzing one of the thumbnails that I had created for my last video. And look at this. The software is able to recognize that there are three faces, face one, face two, and face three. And it also looks at joy, very unlikely, and it analyzes other emotions. And it does this for each and every one of the faces. It takes a look at the labels that are in this thumbnail. So you can see it's detecting my hair, it's detecting my face, it's detecting my nose, it's detecting that I'm making a gesture with this thumbnail right here, it's detecting t-shirts, uh, it's detecting my lip gloss. But look at this, art, leisure, logo, hair coloring, nail. These I found interesting, snack, junk food, collage, necklace. Something about this thumbnail pulls up these keywords. And I'm bringing these to your attention because I'm gonna show you something in a little bit where you'll be able to see how this software actually influences where your videos are surfaced. Take a look at these logos right here. It's able to detect this Corona. I don't know where it gets fuel injection from, but my shirt actually says Corona. And even though like my thumb is covering the C, I have the text covering this other here. Now this is just the thumbnail. What happens if I analyze a frame of the video? So let's just pull up a new file here and I'm gonna bring up a frame of a different video. So in here, I've just gone ahead and pulled up a frame from one of my videos. And YouTube analyzes every single frame of your videos from beginning to end. And this is only one. And look at everything that it's able to pick up. It's again, picking up several different phases in here. So it's not just picking up my face, it's also picking up the faces that appear right here in these little tiny screens and it reads those emotions as well. It notices that, hey, there are other persons in this thumbnail. So remember, it takes a look at who is in your videos. It takes a look at the text and this I thought was interesting because I can't even read the text in here, but it picks it up in here. Remember, that was just one frame of the video. YouTube does that for every single frame of your video. So think about the things in your background or the logos when you hold up a product or the screen grabs and titles that you edit in. At the same time, it's analyzing how people are responding to your videos as they watch them. Are they engaging? Are they dropping off? How long are they watching? So you see how high you rank depends on what's actually in the video and how people respond to it and not so much on the key 
keyword that's in the title description or tags. It will then find people who responded in a similar positive way to a lot of those elements in past videos and show that video to them higher in search. So for example, if you watch video A at least halfway, you like and you comment, and I do too, the next time there's a similar video B, both in what YouTube's AI detects within the videos and what's in the title description and tags, we're both likely to be served video B on browse and higher in search versus someone that clicked off video A quickly or didn't engage, even though video B is fully optimized. This brings up the question, why should I even bother doing keyword research and investing in tools like TubeBuddy if YouTube is smart enough to figure out what my video is about, how it should rank it, and who it should show it to? Because when you first upload your video, it hasn't run its analysis. So YouTube is going to rely on your metadata in order to index or classify your video. But once it runs its analysis, it will begin testing your video for other search terms it thinks may be relevant. Remember how snacks and junk food were some of the elements it picked up from one of my thumbnails? Check out where that video was suggested. New what's for dinner, busy mom recipes. Best pizza dough recipe, how to make perfect pizza at home. Five minute homemade marshmallows. No views came from those suggestions, obviously, but YouTube tested it nonetheless, and it will be less likely to keep showing it in those places because it learns when people don't click on the thumbnail that that video is not relevant to food or snacks. On the flip side, it could rank for keywords not included in my metadata, but that the AI picked up from within the video and where people have watched longer and engaged with those keywords. This is why if you want more views on your videos, it's important for you to think how relevant everything within your video is to the actual topic that you're trying to rank for. This video about YouTube Shorts has received over 15,000 views the majority coming from YouTube search. It's ranking high for those terms, but if you watch that video, YouTube Shorts is all over that video. I talk about them, I show several of them on screen, I share analytics for one of my videos, there's nothing really distracting in the background, and it has gotten a lot of engagement, so YouTube keeps promoting it. And because I took steps to make connections from that video to my other videos, those videos receive views as well. That is how you need to plan out your videos. Think about your thumbnail. You want people to click, but you also want it to represent your topic. And the most important thing, you want people to respond positively to your video, to give it a like, to leave a comment, to watch as much as possible, and then for them to keep watching other videos on YouTube, yours or other creators. Create connections within your videos to others. This will increase your session time, which will help you rank and get views. If you wanna learn how to do that, how to create connections so that when one of your videos does well, so do the rest of your videos on your channel, you're gonna to wanna to go and watch this video next. I'll see you there, bye.